las montañas y del río Campesino y amigo de la vida muy sencilla Dame, dame, vida, vida, simple, simple y sencilla Dame, dame, vida, vida, rica, rica y sencilla montañas y del río, campesino y amigo de la vida muy sencilla. Dame, 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 vida, 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 simple, simple y sencilla. Dame, dame, dame. Even down the mechanic. I didn't know you had it in you. How's it going down there? Uh. I think I almost got it. I'm dreaming of eggs and bacon. Toast or biscuits? Toast, with lots of butter. Any jelly? No, I'm not a jelly person. I'm partial to biscuits and gravy myself. And the only good thing in this damn country is the coffee. Well, as soon as we get this thing cranked up, we'll go looking for some scrambled eggs to go with your coffee. How about that? <laughs> bacon, don't forget the bacon. Think there's an IHOP around here? <laughs> hey, jump in, see if you can crank it up. Really? Yeah, go ahead, jump in. Breakfast may be here sooner than you think. Wait, sir. It's gonna be all right. All right. ¿Qué dijo? No me dijo nada. Nada. I told her it was gonna be okay. Te pregunté a ti, cabrón. Eh? Eh? bonita eres, ¿eh? ¿Qué te dijo? ¿Eh, mi reina? ¿Qué te dijo? ¿Eh? He said everything was gonna be okay. ¿Sabes algo que yo no sé? ¿Eh? ¿Es tu novio? ¡Es tu novio! No. ¿Qué sabes de él? Cuéntame de ti, cabrón. We're farmers. What do we look like to you? We're farmers. You don't look like a farmer to me. Look, you all know who we are, or you wouldn't be here. We want to see the revolution. You want to see it? Ah, cabrón. You're in it. ¿Para quién trabajas? ¿Eh? Los cubanos, los alemanes del este, CIA. No, 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 amigo. ¿Eh? Vamos a la escuela. Vamos a la escuela. Van a la escuela. Vas a la escuela, qué vivo eres. Qué vivo eres. Este tipo va a la escuela. ¿Tú vas a la escuela? ¿Eh? Cowards die many times before their deaths. The valiant never taste of death but once. You know who wrote that? Huh? You know who that is? William Shakespeare. Guillermito Shakespeare. Julius Caesar. Pendejo. I know. I know, I know. You, like I told you, we're college students. College kids, huh? Yeah. Oh, God! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
¡Maten a todos, menos a él! ¿Qué hacemos con él? ¡Mételo adentro del autobús! ¡Ya, cabrón, muévete! ¡Muévete, muévete, muévete! ¡Muévete! You look like Henry Rollins, post black flag. You got a court date? A uh, job interview. I didn't know they had interviews for paranoid psycho killer types. Yeah, well, they do. Uh, nice bike. Thanks. I got something I need to tell you. What'd you say? I've got some info for you. Who do you work for? We work for ourselves. You're freelancers? Yeah, you could say that. Who sent you? No one sent us, man. What is your fucking problem? We do want your bike, though. 
I don't want any trouble. I really don't. This bike's very important to me. Why don't you tell us about it? That's private. Trust me, I've been through a lot. Listen. We want the bike. We're taking the bike. Three against one, so get the fuck out of here! That's what I thought. How the hell do you start this thing? He didn't let me take off my glasses. What'd he say? Good night. Safety's on. Are you good? I told you that bike means a lot to me. Are you an artist? I hate fucking artists. Last one. hurt yourself? I was working in my garden. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've uh, glanced over your file here, and your uh, stated skills are more than adequate. You've cleared our initial checks, but any bad news going to surface on a deep background check? Our client is a data processing firm, and we're going to be very thorough. I'm counting on it. it says here you don't do polygraphs. Nope. What's that all about? I have my reasons. Yeah, got gotcha. you. You spent a little time in Central America, I bet. Does it say that? No, but we do update our files from time to time. Yes or no? Uh, what does it say? Well, it says uh, military intelligence, spent some unspecified time at SOC in Tampa, Florida, and your own application site, Spanish. These are all points in your favor. OK. Do you uh, maintain your own gear? Yes, sir. I have a vest, a wand-type metal detector, light vision goggles, but I can get anything if I know in advance. Very good. Now, do you use any narcotics? No, sir. Do you habitually use any prescription medication? No, sir. Do you smoke? Not anymore. Any outstanding warrants or in-progress investigations, civil or criminal? Domestic or foreign? No, sir. Are you currently under contact, written, spoken, or understood to any individual organization or government agency? No, nobody. 
Is there any reason you can think of that you would not be the perfect person for this job? Only that I'm not perfect. Hmm. Yeah, we know that. Thanks for coming in. We'll be in touch. And next up, Angelina. The lords of death are a natural form of emptiness. Your own confused projections. And you are emptiness. A mental body of unconscious tendencies. Emptiness cannot harm emptiness. The uncharacterized cannot harm the uncharacterized. External lords of death, gods, evil spirits, and the bullheaded demon, and so on, have no reality apart from your confused projections. So recognize this. At this moment, recognize everything as the Bardo. Fucking artists. Wow, I'm impressed. What? A haircut. And you shave? Uh, yeah, it's a job interview. Corporate thing. Really? Mm. Well, I didn't think that they gave job interviews to guys like you. Yeah. I mean, they do. Hmm. Thanks for coming to my show. I wouldn't miss it. I know. How's your job? Ugh, the ER's crazy. I mean, there must be some kind of war out there more than usual. And these weapons, stray bullets hitting people in their houses half a block away. Kids, babies, old people, church ladies, you name it. You wouldn't believe where these bullets go. Oh, <laughs> you would. They tell me some of them sleep in their bathtubs at night. I sometimes wonder if government agencies don't think about recruiting these cracked out kids with weapons to kill people, you know? Solve a problem, tie up a loose end. Be like ordering up a car wreck. I don't know, Steven, but that's exactly why you and I aren't together anymore. Is that all you can think about? I'm just saying there'd be no paper trail, no names. Just point somebody out on the street, make it look like a robbery. I wonder if that ever happens. I guess that is all you can think about. Hi, Daddy. Hey, sweetie. Where'd you come from? I didn't even see you. Are you sleeping? Yeah, Miss Odom put me to bed earlier. Who's Miss Odom? New babysitter. I'm not a baby. No, you're not a baby. You're a big girl. You get prettier every day. Being good for your mom? You swear? You double swear? 
Okay. <clears throat> go to bed. I know she didn't like you to be up late. Do you have to go, Daddy? Mm -hmm. I'll see you later in the week. Okay, I'll see you later then. I love you, baby. Good night, Daddy. Good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay, Dan, here's the deal. We are not supposed to know that two members of the prospective buyer's police force will meet us when we dock. They're gonna be dressed in civilian clothes, they'll come aboard, and they're gonna to wanna to search the boat. It'd be a good idea if we act real surprised. What are they worried about? Oh, well, they're not worried, they're just real careful. What are they being careful about? Confidentiality, that's our middle name. You see, there's not gonna be any audio, no video transmission devices on this boat. So officially, it's a non-happening. What about my gun? Well, I didn't load it. I didn't know if I was supposed to, but I've got two loaded clips in my pocket. Okay, carry it. They're gonna expect that. You will decline to give it up. They'll expect that too. I just don't want you to shoot anybody. If something goes wrong, which it won't, I want you to jump in the water and swim away from this boat as fast as you can go. But nothing like that's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is Heckle and Jekyll are gonna come on board. They're gonna search the boat and they're not gonna find anything. They'll leave, I'll leave, and then the players will begin to arrive. A Mr. Deacon of the Maya Corporation will come aboard. Oscar Perez, a security person from Latin America, He's the broker of this hope for transaction. He's gonna come on board. Both these men are technically your boss. And if Perez's girlfriend, Rachel, if she happens to come on board. She's my boss too. Right. I got it. Perez usually has his own guy. His name is Reef. And Reef is not much of a talker, but he will be armed. Now this is not your affair. The two representatives of the buyer who will remain nameless will also be armed. This is not your affair either. These people will all come aboard. They'll sort things out for themselves. Now, somebody at the Maya Corporation trusts Perez, and evidently the buyer does too. So all we've got to do is let Perez handle this whole thing. All you've got to do is drive the boat up the lake, down the lake, fast, slow, do figure eights, anything they want you to do, you do it. I got it. Showtime. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. This is uh, positively romantic. A moonlit cruise. Turner's idea. Well, the man definitely has flair. So, uh, Captain, what's the itinerary? We'll play it however you and the buyers decide. This is a secure environment. We're comfortable with it. That's fine with me. Not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. You okay with that, Skipper? Is that Shakespeare you were just quoting? Uh, very good. Very good. I love Shakespeare, you? Oh, I studied him in college. Oscar Perez. I think the buyers have arrived. Perfect. It's gonna work out fine. Stay as you go, Skipper. I'll send Rachel in with your course momentarily. Buenas noches, caballeros. Hola, señores. Mucho gusto de conocerlos. Así que ya saben que esta junta es algo muy importante para nosotros y estamos aquí para ayudarlos como podamos. Vamos a tratar de guiarlos para tener un acuerdo con ustedes sobre las, los asuntos nuestros. Excuse me. Este, ya saben que, que estas viejas son tan hermosas. Captain. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> We'd like to make a slow 20-minute circuit. 
keeping to the center of the canal, and then returning to this point. Okay. And in 20 minutes, you'll get more instructions. You know, it's all right to look at me. It's them you're not supposed to look at. No, I know. I just want to make sure I know where we're going. Hey, relax. I'm contract labor just like you, soldier. You play the captain of the boat, and I play the broker's girlfriend. You know, my boss thinks you are his girlfriend. Well, then I just told you a secret, didn't I? Hey, are you all right? You don't look so good. I just don't sleep very well. How long? Six years, give or take. That's a long time. So this is part of our routine, Perez and I. I come up here and pretend to flirt with you. He points us out to the others, and they all grouse and talk nasty about whores for a minute. Then when I come back, they all share a laugh and some knowing glances. Makes them a team. Also puts me in a role that they feel comfortable with. You've been doing this a while? Similar things, yeah. What are you? Are you a bodyguard? Something like that. Is that how you hurt your wrist? I don't know. I hurt this playing basketball. Right. Anyway, it keeps the attention from being squarely focused on him. He likes it that way. Who is he? Oscar? Yeah. He calls himself a security consultant. He often does this kind of work, creating a liaison between a U.S. firm and an interested group from Latin America. So who are these guys? No more secrets tonight. I have to get back. Hey, lighten up. We're going for a cruise. No, 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 no. Así que ya saben que esta junta es algo muy importante para nosotros. Hey, soldier, we're supposed to be back at the dock by now. Shh, keep your voice down. I need you to tell me who he is. Who? Oscar, Oscar Perez. I told you, he's a security consultant. I, I need to know everything you know about him, everything. Why? I need to know. You need to turn the boat around and I need to go back down there. All right, listen. I saw an abandoned boathouse on the canal. Have you seen it? You know what I'm talking about? I think so. Meet me there at dawn and come alone. You bring somebody else with you, I'll kill you both. Oh, please don't sugarcoat it. Why should I meet you? Because you're curious. I'm not that curious.
How'd it go? All right, I guess. It's hard to tell. Well, you didn't shoot anybody. I counted heads before, and I counted heads after, and I came up with the same number. I didn't shoot anybody. Outstanding. I thought about it, though. Everybody does. You have any direct contact with the players? No, not really. Perez? Anybody? No, I talked to Rachel a little bit. Why? Uh, just curious. Uh, turns out we're going to do this again tomorrow night. What? That way it gives everyone a chance to talk to their higher-ups. And Perez has requested you specifically. You are available. Yeah. I wouldn't have set you up on this thing if you had to told me you were free this No, way. OK, I'll do it, sure. OK, count on tomorrow night. Long time no video, dog. Dylan, you need to get out more. Yeah, hey, you know what they say. If I'd known you were coming, I'd have baked the cake. I called ahead. I ain't get the message. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Uh, you uh wanna hit? No, no, no. I'm trying to quit. Sorry, right. both of me. <laughs> what can I do you for, man? I need you to reopen the Black September file. Got a name, need you to check it out. Black September again? Look, man, you still doing your detective thing? This time it's for real. Same as other time. And then time for that, and time for that, and time for that, and time for that. Come on. What's the name? Oscar Perez. Don't ask, man. I now have got a thing about germs. <sighs> How you spell that? I don't know. How would you spell it? Who the fuck is this? That's Anna. Say hello, Anna. Hello. She's 19. Kind of reminds you of the old days, don't it? Sorry. What are you so jumpy for? Oh, wait a minute. 
I forgot. You're always this jumpy. I'm just gonna spell it O-S-C-A-R-P-E-R-E-Z. Some other way to spell it? Oscar with a K, Perez with an S. I mean, you got a nationality on this dude? No. Latin? I don't know. I don't know, maybe. Okay, okay. So, how'd you meet Anna? She's a prostitute, obviously. My dating habits being what they are. We met in the usual manner. She's a refugee from Eastern Europe. She's half Russian or something like that. She's looking for a group. What's the arrangement? I pay for the food, clothes, videos. She picks them up. That way she don't have to hook, and I ain't gotta go outside. Congratulations. Hey, it's the American dream, man. So, tell me about this Oscar Perez. I need a little guidance here. I don't know much. I'm working on it. He's got a security consultant firm. I don't know where. He's brokering a deal with the military or the government of some Latin American country and the Maya Corporation, big data processing firm in Las Colinas. Have you heard of him? I'm sure they're trying to sell him some computerized intelligence system. Keeping tabs, tabs on somebody. Right wing heavy hitter under some kind of cloud. It all feels very under the table to me. Now, let me guess. You ain't got no hard data, no information, not a damn thing on this. Nothing. 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 Not a Nothing. damn thing. Nothing. Glad you could make it. So what am I doing here? I don't know. Maybe you want to find out a little more about the person you're working for. Maybe Perez told you to come. Maybe you're a little curious about the thing you find yourself in the middle of. I know I am. Maybe you're not in the middle of anything, except for some paranoid episode. You ever think of that? Constantly. Look, you were hired earlier this week by perfect strangers, based on a resume that you sent in. You could have been anybody. Who told you that? Turner. Who else? Why? It's part of my job to know these things. He asked for me by name for the thing tonight. Perez? No, he didn't. I was standing right next to him. I heard what he said. What he said was, let's try to keep the variables to a minimum for the second meeting. Things went smoothly on the boat. You did your job. So he asked Turner for the same boat and the same pilot. Who is it that you think he is? I'm not sure I'm ready to tell you that yet. Okay. Well, I don't know what the hell we're supposed to talk about. I need to get something to eat. I mean, who gets up this early? You really can't sleep, can you? Look, soldier, you don't need me. You need a support group. I never knew who he was. I never saw his face. Never knew what he was supposed to be doing. What are you talking about? Talking about the man that tortured me, interrogated me in Nicaragua six years ago. Why couldn't you see his face? He was wearing a mask. Well, what makes you think it's him? I think I recognize the voice. 
six years is a long time ago. Yeah. There was a collective farm in Nicaragua. It's run by college kids, mostly Americans. They were down there because they believed in what was going on. They wanted to be a part of it, wanted to be there. I was there for the Army. The U.S. Army? Military intelligence, yeah. 42 weeks of training in the Arizona desert. Fort Huachuca, right? No, I was at Devens in 85. Fort Huachuca wasn't the main facility until this year. How do you know this stuff? Like I said, it's part of my job. Well, penetration was easy. It's a good place to watch the Sandinistas come and go, chasing Contras. See what kind of weapons they were carrying, listen to conversations, count helicopters and trucks, you know. It was a great job. The first time in my life I was surrounded by these bright, motivated, idealistic people my own age. Working the land, drinking beer, talking politics. I made friends. One day, these men come out of the jungle. They weren't Contras. I don't know what they were. I still don't. And I didn't know how to react. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know whether or not to act like a college kid, blow my cover as a spook. I didn't do anything. People died right in front of me people I cared about. Did I kill him by being there, by not speaking up? I don't know. Well, you obviously got away. Yeah, I did. You know the odds of ever encountering one of those people again? I know, believe me. But if it is him, he knows me. You see? I'm sitting right in the middle of the biggest business deal of his life. He doesn't know what I know, who I've told. If it dawns on him that it is me, he's not gonna let me get away, not again. So why are you telling me all this? I mean, what do you want from me? Because I trust you. I don't know why. For some reason, I trust you. I need to know if it's him, and I need your help. You know what? I, I don't know. This is all just waking up. What are you going to do? Kill me? Maybe Perez sent you. Maybe he's wondering if I did ID him. Or it's just his conscience making him paranoid. Maybe. Maybe you're standing here and you don't know what to think and you're starting to realize you don't know me very well. Maybe. Could be. You know enough to know what can happen out there. So you want to be damn sure you know what's happening in here before anybody else gets hurt. Or maybe you're just fucking crazy. Yeah. Maybe. All right, soldier. I'll think about it. Stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves. God damn it, Stephen, what is with you? Sorry. And Sorry. I told you, don't bring a gun in my place. No guns. I'm done with guns. What if Meredith had seen that? I, I'm sorry. I just, where is she? She's still at school. And give me back my key. I forgot you had it. Why are you here? Well, I was nearby, and I needed some sleep. What about your place? I got something I want to talk to you about. I can't. I have a friend coming over, and then we're picking Meredith up. The artist? Yeah, Yoki. He's coming over, helping me rig my show. Is there a short version? No. Sorry, then I don't have the time. Do you want some coffee before you go? I'm just gonna leave. Suit yourself.
I think I recognize one of the men from Nicaragua on my job last night. Steven, no. You've got to stop this. You know that's crazy. That's a common fear anyway for survivors. Of what you survived, it's common. Who told you that? I read about it. Why would you do that? Because I love you. I used to. I mean, you're my heart, you know that. I even let you keep the motorcycle when things fell apart. And you know how much I love that motorcycle. Probably as much as I loved you. And I appreciated it. You got to keep Meredith. All I got was the motorcycle. It's basically all I have left. I have company coming over, and I want you to go. Hey, Yoki. Come on in. You remember Steven? Yeah. Security guard or Magnum P.I. or something, right? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Well, it's good to see you, man. Yeah. Steven was just leaving. Be careful. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Wear the glasses, baby. Make your face look softer. Yeah. U.S. U.S. Army Intelligence. <clears throat> the CIA initiative. I don't do anything. I don't do anything. I just watch. I just watch. And I farm the land. I don't know if the sun was Asegura el perímetro y fíjate quién está disparando. Tú, tú ya no muévete, muévete, ya descubran la granja. Uh, 
No thanks, I quit. Yeah, you gringos and your hell kicks. Where are you from? Uh, I was born on Guam. Military father, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I was raised in Oklahoma. Where are you from? Tel Aviv. Building a restaurant there. Doing all the work myself. Doing it for my mother. She's a Jew. My father, he's from Mexico City. He's part Palestinian. He can't swing a dead cat in Latin America without hitting an Israeli. Guess you didn't know that, huh? No. Live in Honduras now. Lots of business opportunities there. Lots of insecurities. You ever been? Yeah. Once. Yeah, I figured. From what Turner told me. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just run the canals for a while, about five knots. I don't know how long this is gonna take. But hey, we got all night, right? Nice talking to you. who you ask, but yeah. What did he say to you? Why? Because I wonder if it's worth getting us all killed. I know it's him. How do you know? Because he tried to draw me out a little while ago. Right here in the middle of all this. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for me to freak out in front of all these people so he can have an excuse to fucking kill me. Then it's done. The deal, me, everything I know, and he can sleep like a fucking baby. Oh, yeah? What about me? What about you? It's my job to protect him tonight. After tonight, it's over. I can walk away. But until then, do you understand? Does he understand what? Oh, I didn't hear you coming. I, we were just... No, 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 it's all right. It's okay. Just a little curious, and I'm sure the skipper here would like you to finish. Does he understand what? Does he understand that Mr. Turner wouldn't like him to talk to me the way he's been talking? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Are you committing a security breach, Captain? No. I mean... Personally, speaking to me personally. The lady doth protest too much, me thinks. Guess if she didn't want people to talk to her that way, she wouldn't dress in quite such a friendly manner. What do you think? I think she looks nice. Oh, so do I. Is everything going okay down there? Like a dream. Everything okay here, Captain? Ask the lady. Well, I know everything's okay with her. Everything's always okay with her. Shall we go? Whenever you're ready. I think it'd be safe heading back now. It's all downhill from here.
He's an Israeli. Very good. Go to the head of the class. It is him, isn't it? Keep your voice down. I can hear you just fine. Let's keep moving, man. I don't like being out of my environment. Man, you owe me big time for this. You think you're being followed? Hell yeah, I think that all the time. Especially when I'm around you. Right. Sorry. Now let me tell you what I know about Oscar Perez. And it's with an S, by the way. Now, most of what I'm about to tell you was mainly gleaned from cross-referencing library materials, all right? Like press clips and, and a couple of books from Latin America and the U.S. Both Interpol and America's Watch have heard of this guy. But here's where the lines seem to converge. Perez used to be an instructor at the Israeli Security Forces School about 10 years ago. Israeli defense industry starts sending this cat to Latin America to help sweeten arms sales with the Guatemalans, the Salvadorans, and even the Contras. As part of the deal, he would go down and help train the client's officers, you know, in possibly the hippest tactics and how to, you know, maintain and operate their new equipment. How to kill people. Right. Now, he went down to Honduras to help with the Contras, but supposedly, he ain't never set foot in Nicaragua. However, According to unconfirmed reports, mm -hmm. he and or several other Israelis were down there setting up death squads in Honduras, Salvador, even in Colombia. I mean, these cats were very popular in certain circles. About three years ago, he leaves Israel, goes to Honduras to pursue personal interests. <laughs> I think he's got a horse ranch. Weren't the buyers Hondurans? I don't know. It would make sense. I mean, it doesn't matter, I guess. I mean, now you know this cat you're dealing with is Perez. What doesn't make sense is why would Perez even be in Nicaragua in the first place? Especially with a non-contra unit. He was trained in death squads. What? Honduran death squads. It makes sense. He's got this group of young kids with him. Gung-ho, young, they'll do anything he says. He's privy to low-level U.S. intelligence about Nicaragua, so he knows about the farm. It's just across the border. It's a one-day excursion. No backpacks. They come in low, they come in clean. This killer's to be get a one-day crash course on the farm in Nicaragua. Oh, God! It makes sense, man. That way, if somebody messes up, they show the asses, nobody knows. You see, the only thing he doesn't count on is me. It doesn't matter if I live or die, because he's blown. Because we're on the same fucking side. Same fucking side. The same goddamn side. It is him. Hey, man, you ain't got to convince me. I love conspiracy theories. And cash. You need to stay away from me, Dylan. You and Anna both. Perez has access to the Maya Corporation files. I don't know what he knows, who my associations are. Black September file still open? Of course. Is it secure? Of course. Uh, I mean, I think so. Hmm. What about what's her name? Who? Rachel? Uh-huh. I told her I'd meet her at the boathouse tomorrow morning. You gonna go? Yeah, she's gotta know about this. Maybe she already knows. If she was gonna burn me, we wouldn't be talking about it. I'd already be burnt. Well, you know what they say. More than one way to skin a go. It's a cat. Or a cat. Either way. <clears throat> it was a. No. Mo for me. <laughs> Look, man. Just be careful, all right? You don't know who she. Look, man, you're starting to freak me out, okay? And I don't need this right now. I got a woman at home, man. I got videos and all kinds of. Dylan, thank you. All right, man, I'm just trying to make a buck, all right?
I got your favorite cookies on sale. Dylan? Jesus, you're not gonna kill me, are you? Angela told me you hated artists. I'm sorry, man. Shh. I'm really sorry. Shh. What's going on? Stephen, what are you doing here? You're gonna wake up the artist. They put that gun away now. Are you okay, Yogi? Yeah. Yeah. Just give us a minute. Did you get in a fight? Yeah. Was anyone hurt? Yeah. Dead, actually. Password. Password. The first thing he types every time. Remember I told you I thought I recognized one of the men from Nicaragua? On my job last night? Well, it's him. Insane. We've been through this. That's crazy. Did you kill this person? No. No. Not yet. Well, then what do you want me to do? I don't want to have any part of this. I'm supposed to be working on my show with Yoki. This is not my problem. I want you to look at my head. I think I've been shot. Dylan? Dylan! Find out from her. What did she tell you? 
How much she likes America? Tell Oscar I said hello. Hey, you got a stamp? What? You got a stamp. You got life insurance? Hey, boys, we got it. next time.
Take it easy. Hey. Hey. Um, are you all right? Oh, yeah. Don't I look all right? No, you look like you're dying. And I don't want to spend the rest of the weekend tied to this chair. Couldn't be anything worse than what Perez would do to you. What? Your wrist. He's an evil fucker. And you're loyal to him for some reason. There's more to it than that. That's all I can say right now. Oh, what'd you do last night? Went home, watered the ficus. How about you? Uh, I went to a friend's house. Caught a rave party, stayed up too late. Think I may have killed somebody, too. Certainly tried. What is going on here? <sighs> you tell me. Tell you what? Why are you here? Why are you here? I've got a thing for women with guns. You were supposed to fucking help me. I am helping you. That's why I came. To tell you about Oscar. What about him? He's trying to kill you. <laughs> no shit. You got a lot of fucking balls. I'll give you that. What supposedly happened between you two? He killed my friends. Right in front of me. They were innocent kids. I was a sellout. Oscar tortured me. He tortured me to the point that I was completely lost. And he found me like a guide, like a spiritual advisor. I know that sounds fucked up, but what he communicated to me was that it was always gonna be that way. Me hurting, him asking me questions. He gave me total control. He made it a form of suicide to tell him what he wanted to know, so I embraced it at the end of my life. Sights. Sounds, color, the light. I told him more than he wanted to know. I wanted to know who I was. I was ashamed of who I was. I just wanted it to be over. Say something. Then the Lord of Death will drag you by a rope tied around your neck and cut off your head, tear out your heart, pull out your entrails, lick your brains, drink your blood, eat your flesh, and notch your bones. This has to end sometime. Who else have you told about this? Being cut again and again causes extreme pain. So do not be afraid when the white pebbles are <laughs> you. Do not lie. Do not fear the Lord of Death. <laughs> Mom? Hello, Mr. Down. <laughs> you 
have become a risk to the security of the Maya Corporation state. Uh -huh. right? And I have decided that you are a bad bad. <coughs> ¿Y tú qué le miras? She's a piece of work, isn't she? So you and I have a past. Is that what I'm to understand? Huh? Yeah. I know about Black September. And you're not going to ruin me. Or they steal. Because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and your paranoia is getting in my way, and that, my friend, that's gonna stop today. I know who you are. File's all about you. You don't know shit. And neither does your friend Dylan. You killed his girlfriend. Well, she didn't help us out. So she was expendable. Just like your ex-wife. And maybe even your daughter. Hmm? You just don't understand. This Maya job is too important. Your schizo army intelligence shit you're spying around has made you a liability. No one, and I repeat, no one is gonna fuck this deal up. I need the black September file, Stephen. <laughs> you never said anything about this. What does this have to do with Maya? Cállate la boca. It has everything to do with Maya. He brought this on himself. Rachel! He's getting away! Shoot him! Shoot him! Get them. And the weapons. We gotta take them with us. How many more are there? I don't know. I don't know. Can you swim? Yeah. Yeah, I can swim. I just wanted to tell you, man. I believe you. The Black September file is safe. 
Uh, I appreciate that, brother. Doesn't matter now. Why is that? Because I'm going to kill him either way. How <laughs> <laughs> right about me? Dylan. Yeah? I'm sorry. How about Anna? Yeah, me too. It's getting damn dangerous around here. You ought to think about moving to a new place, you know? New house, new identity. Yeah. I've been thinking the same thing, especially since my place got completely destroyed. I hear Europe's a mess. <laughs> hey, ought to be some work there. Yeah, Europe sounds good. <laughs> All right, thank you for your help. Take care of yourself. Whoa, hey, hey. I'm not a leaving right at this minute. <clears throat> what are we gonna do now? No, 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 no. Not your problem. You go on. Mind if I borrow that? Mine, hell. I was hoping you'd say that. I'm not cut out for this physical stuff, man. <laughs> I think I pulled a muscle back there. You get those fuckers for me. And for Anna. I will. How do you know about tonight, Dylan? Just a feeling, man. Just a bad, bad feeling. Remember, just because you're paranoid. Don't mean he ain't out to get you. Rachel, just key your mic if you can hear me. Can anybody hear me? Come in, Perez. Just key your mic if you can hear me, Rachel. Can you hear me? Warehouse is secure. through the night, turn the fuck around. Do it. Now we're even. Rachel, just key your mind. Keep it close. I hear something down near the water. All right, all right. Do, do, do you see Rachel? I don't see anything. I'm on the edge of the canal now. Shit! No. What's going on down there? All right, just pull back. Go around the base of the building, get some cover, and just hold your position. Just don't go after him. Repeat, do not look for him. What, what, what is it? What is it? What's happening? <coughs> Don't kill me. Down! Can you hear me? I got a family.
Close your eyes. Join me. Let's bring this to an end. Listening, say something. Move. Quiet. Turn around. Stairwell. Soldier, huh? <sighs> Show yourself. Hey, Perez, shut the fuck up, will you? You're starting to wear me out. Say much, do you?
Where is he? Shit. You ready to finish this? Where are they? Somewhere in this building. Hey, hey, hands. Ruben. Take the hood off. Okay. Where's my daughter? Ruben, show the kid. <sighs> She's a cutie. I didn't even tie her up. Of course, understand, Stephen. I don't give a fuck about them. Well, that's a coincidence. I don't give a fuck about you. Well, then that's perfect, then. What's it gonna be, Stephen? I don't have the file. Stop. I wouldn't do that. You don't want to end up like your boss here, do you? Kill her. Wait, listen to me. The police are going to find this bloodbath. Everybody's going to be dead. You'll be dead. Perez will be dead. Just like all the other security. And for what? The Maya Corporation? You think they give a shit about you? Ruben. Do as I say. Don't play his game, Ruben. I did six years ago, but not today. Don't do it. You are a twisted fuck. You still think I'm your guy? Just because I'm from Central America? Just because my voice sounds like some voice you heard in the jungles years ago? <laughs> the military really screw you up that bad, Stephen? Cowards die many times before their deaths. But the Valiant never tasted death but once. You remember that? It's Shakespeare, so what? You remember the bus? Remember the people you killed right in front of me? You remember all the shit you did to me? <laughs> you, you are insane. Look, I've been hired by Maya to secure this deal. You've become a security problem. That's it. This is not personal. Not personal. Not personal? This is going nowhere. Stephen. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I must admit, Stephen. I couldn't believe it at first myself. After all these years, I would have thought we'd ever meet again. But let the truth be known, you were right all along. Ruben. Finish the job. I just wanted to finish 
the restaurant for my mother. <sighs> Ruben. Ruben Perez is dead. Let my girls go. He's leaving, Stephen. They're okay. They're okay. He's gone. You are crazy. You know. Depends on who you ask. Yeah, I've heard that. I'm sorry about everything. Even though you shot me. You're just doing your job, just like me. It's more than that, though. I could have done more. Stopped a lot of this. <coughs> Don't you die, Stephen Down. Don't you die. Stephen, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <clears throat> I've been investigating Perez for the past 14 months. His involvement with Maya and Central America. We had no idea about Nicaragua or you or your friends. Now you do. After I found out, my superiors instructed me not to interfere. We couldn't blow our cover and risk all the work that we had done. But it's over now. Perez is dead, and so is Black September. Maybe now you can get some sleep. Hold on, Stephen. Hang on. Stephen, hang on. Holy shit. Down, I thought we weren't gonna shoot anybody. Mommy? It's all right, honey. Everything's gonna be all right.
cuenta, tu vida entre otras. La ley de Dios es la ley que abierta, la puerta de la vida simple, sencilla, vive con amor.